TikTok marketing. Here's what you didn't know about marketing your business on TikTok by Efat Alzaraj. From a silly app to a giant business opportunity, from what we thought was a fast dying trend to the ultimate platform to grow an audience rapidly and to promote your business in a very authentic and engaging way. So if you're a business with a tight budget, forget about Facebook or Instagram ads, go for TikTok. Because building a following on TikTok just might be the key to skyrocketing your sales. But the rules for success on TikTok are very different to those of any other platform. And that's why in this video, we'll be telling you all you need to know about this amazing platform and whether it's the one for you and your business. There are so many pros to building a presence at the highly popular TikTok platform, but there are also a bunch of cons that you need to consider. But let's go ahead and start with the pros first. Number one, it's really easy to get content ideas. There's a huge copycat culture on TikTok, so you could easily use literally the same trend everybody else is using, and the same sound as someone else, and you'll still likely go viral with it. The second pro of TikTok is that there is great discoverability. If you've ever used TikTok, you would have noticed a bunch of creators you don't know showing up on your homepage even without you following them. This exposure TikTok gives to creators is what I mean by discoverability, and it's what can help you as a creator to get more people looking at your content. And this means a higher likelihood of you getting more views and more follows to your page. The third pro, and this one's really important, is that TikTok's SEO is fantastic. You don't need to write long captions or fill your posts with tons of hashtags to get discovered. A lot of creators are calling the TikTok SEO a game changer and an even better alternative than Google SEO. The great thing about optimizing for TikTok SEO is about the user behavior as well. Let's consider a user searching for a video on YouTube. Most videos that come up will be between 10 to 15 minutes, so it's likely that the user won't be clicking on more than two or three videos. Now, let's consider that same user searching for that same thing, but on TikTok. What'll come up is a bunch of one-minute videos, so that user can easily watch dozens of videos. This makes your chance of getting views through the search engine of TikTok much larger than that of YouTube. So, taking the time to optimize for the TikTok SEO is a brilliant way to drive more customers for your product or service. Another pro to TikTok is that you can somewhat get paid for it. Now, the reason why I'm saying somewhat is because relative to YouTube, you don't get paid nearly as much. There's a huge difference in terms of how much income you can make on TikTok compared to YouTube. So if that's your number one goal, well, then maybe YouTube will be better for you. So you might be thinking that you should sink all of your resources into TikTok. It seems like the easiest platform to grow, get discovered, and create content. But there are two major cons that you need to consider before putting all your eggs in the TikTok basket. Firstly, and it's a big one, nurturing your following on TikTok is an extremely difficult process. TikTok's biggest pro is also TikTok's biggest con. Unlike YouTube or Instagram, where if you follow someone, you're more likely to see their content on a consistent basis, with TikTok, unless you're pumping out one viral video after another, you won't have all that many videos popping up on your homepage. If you're on TikTok, you'll know that most people prefer using the For You page to discover new content instead of their home page where content from creators they follow would show up. So someone who follows you may never see you again unless they go into their following tab. This is a huge con, especially if you sell a product or service and don't necessarily publish much viral content. Because at the heart of it, if you're not able to nurture your following and build a relationship or build a community, it's essentially pretty hard to turn your followers into clients or customers. Speaking of building a relationship with your followers, fan loyalty on TikTok is not as strong as other platforms. A TikToker will find it very difficult to transfer their TikTok followers to their YouTube channel or Instagram account because TikTok followers are usually much less loyal than the followers you can build on other platforms. So if your brand depends on customer loyalty, well, TikTok might not be the best option. 
Now, while these cons might have put you off from TikTok, it's really all about your business goals. For creators, it's an excellent platform to grow. But for businesses, well, it depends on the type of content you're able to produce and how frequently you can post in order to maintain your followers' loyalty. So what do you think? Will you be trying out TikTok? What do you think is the best pro out of the ones we mentioned? And do you have one of your own? Well, tell us about it in the comments section. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more awesome business tips. Till next time.